In the week ending on February 13th, 2016, we heard news that Dr. Dre will star in an original Apple TV show. Also, a hidden emoticon keyboard, which is different than an emoji keyboard, was found built into iOS. Here comes this week's Apple news in this episode of Apple Wedge Weekly by Wear Notice. Well, it looks like Apple's giving Dr. Dre his own TV show. That's right, according to The Hollywood Reporter on Friday, the famous rapper's new Apple created show will be called Vital Signs. Personally, I think it should be named Straight Outta Cupertino, you know, sort of like a parody to Straight Outta Compton, the biographical drama about Dr. Dre's rap group NWA, except instead of following a rap group, this show would display the work that goes into creating some Apple product. Sadly for those of us that want to see an edge-of-your-seat television series about iPhones, it looks like we're not going to get that in Vital Signs. Basically, as reported by The Hollywood Reporter, Vital Signs will consist of six 30-minute long episodes based off of Dr. Dre's life. They will reportedly both star and be produced by Dr. Dre. Also, the six episodes of Vital Signs will supposedly be released all at once, making the show perfect for binge-watching. On Thursday, Mashable showed off a newly discovered emoticon keyboard built into iOS devices. It's very similar to the emoji keyboard that you've likely encountered on your device, except it features faces composed of individual characters, unlike traditional emojis which are their own symbols altogether. To access this hidden keyboard, you first need to enable the Japanese Kana keyboard. To do so, head to Settings and tap General, then tap Keyboard, and in the screen that appears, tap Keyboards. Next, tap Add New Keyboard, find the Japanese keyboard, select it, and tap Kana. Now that you've got the Japanese Kana keyboard enabled, open an app where you can enter text and switch to the Japanese Kana keyboard by tapping the globe icon. Then tap the button in the bottom left region of the keyboard, which looks like a face. Now tap the up arrow in the top right corner of the keyboard, and you'll be presented with all of the different emoticons that you can use. You're going to want to keep your eyes open for the perfect emoticon, since there are so many. Try not to cry if you can't find the perfect one at first, since you'll be likely to celebrate when you find the one that really expresses how you feel. This week has been a good one for Apple Music, as it finally made its way to Sonos speakers on Wednesday. Apple Music also has more than 11 million subscribers now, as stated by Eddie Q, Apple's Senior Vice President of Internet Software and Services, in an interview on Friday with John Gruber on his podcast, The Talk Show. Craig Federici, Apple's Senior Vice President of Software Engineering, was also interviewed on Friday with Q by Gruber. Both Q and Federici had a lot to say about Apple, even revealing the company's plans to give the iOS remote app all of the same functionality as the Siri remote for controlling the Apple TV. Now, I'm going to make a wild guess that this new remote app that mimics the Siri remote may, with lots of emphasis on the word may, come out in approximately three months. This is because when Q and Federici were talking about this new remote app, Q said jokingly that Gruber, quote, can't broadcast this for three months, end quote, when referring to Gruber's interview with him and Federici on the talk show. Of course, Q could have just picked three months as some random amount of time, or he could be subtly hinting at when this enhanced remote app will be released. Even so, be on the lookout for an update to the remote app sometime in May, maybe around the second week of the month, which is three months from Q and Federici's interview. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the Wear Notice YouTube channel for more tech-related videos. And don't forget to watch new episodes of Apple Wedge Weekly when they come out on Saturdays. Also, if you like written content, navigate to the Wear Notice website at wearnotice.com for more tech news, reviews, and how-tos.